Hey guys, we're going to review here and welcome to this video. I'm going to be going through my prediction for the Arsenal vs FC Cold. I think I say pronounced that, I'm not too sure. Sorry if I butchered that name, guys. But yeah, we have the first Europa League game tomorrow at 5 past 8. Well, I say tomorrow, it depends how long this video takes to fucking upload. It could be Thursday by the time this goes up, but hopefully not. So, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, play in the Europa League. It is at home, which is a positive. Um, obviously, we're coming off a very good win against Bournemouth. Bournemouth were poor in that game, though, so we can't take too much credit. I know my, my review was like, yeah, we're fucking amazing, but to be honest, I'm just happy we won. Uh, I'd like to see Sancho start this game. Um, I'm not too sure why he didn't sell last game. I think he might have been wrestling for this game. But as much as I say I would like Santos to start, I'm not too sure. Because we do have Chelsea just a few days after on the Saturday or Sunday. Sunday, I think. Um, so I guess I'm a big advantage they've had an extra two days rest. This is why I don't like the Europa League. You have extra... It's like le you have less rest days to, than uh, the team's in the Champions League, which gives you a big disadvantage straight off the bat. But um, I'd love to see Lacazette start well back playing. He played quality against Bournemouth. I'd like to see him start. I basically would say keep the same lineup, maybe put Sanchez in, but maybe not. Maybe just leave him off and uh, if he sees a time he needs to bring him on. Bring him on. Sorry about this camera work, guys. And, quite a bumpy field, right, because he's just ploughed it and shit, so, quite bumpy, that's why the camera's doing this constantly, <laughs> but yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully we can get one out of this, I, I can see us winning it, 2-0, 2-0 I reckon, I don't know a lot about FC Colin, um, they were, they finished fifth last season in the Bundesliga, which obviously was, it's a very good league, they've got Bayern, Hoffenheim. They finished above Hoffenheim, Wolfsburg and stuff last year, so they must have had a pretty decent season. Um, but yeah, I think uh, we should be able to dominate this game. We finished the same place as them in our league as they did in their league. But they've had a very poor start to the season. Um, last time I checked, they were down like 16th. <laughs> They're basically copying us, guys. But we have just come off the back of a good win against... Bloody hell, Bournemouth there. Um, I'm not sure what their most recent score was, but um, yeah, I don't keep up with Bundesliga, so I'm not too sure. But we are showing good form, and we're showing we can do it without Sanchez. And that is a big point. Sanchez is seen to be our god at the moment. He absolutely he is our best player. I'm not going to lie. He's our best player. But if we're beating teams comfortably without his... Without him playing, that's very good. That shows we can play football. We play beautiful, passion football against Bournemouth, and we came, we dominated that game. I think we had like sixty something percent possession, and uh, Bournemouth didn't really have any shots. And Petr Cech had a bit of a chill day. But um, if we can go into that match with the mentality of we're going to do this, we can do it. I think maybe. Play a few youngsters though. Give them, give people like Reese Nelson right now. He's solid. He was great in preseason, and I know it was preseason, but he did so a lot of straps. So when you've got players that quality, why not play him? I mean, the Europa League. If we get knocked out, we don't really give too much of a shit. Well, the fans don't anyway. Wenger does to us, and Kroenke will because money, 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 money. That's what they give a shit about. But. FC Colm, um, they seem like a team we should beat. I've heard of them in the past before, but I've never never seen them play. So, I can't say any key men they have. I can't say how they play and how to counter it. But I just think if we can play our nice attacking football, play good passes, as we do. We play, our passing play is absolutely solid, guys. If we can do that against them, we should be able to find a hole in the defence and just play it through Alexander Lacazette, Welbeck or even Giroud if he's on should be able to put it in the back of the net 
Um, I actually don't mind Giroud this season. I hated him last, but he's been playing well this season. And I think maybe start him. Maybe not start Lacazette. Keep him fresh for the weekend. Maybe start Giroud. Who knows? Play some youngsters, though. I want to see Rob Holden at back three. If Mert if not Mertz, if fucking <sighs> Nacho Monreal is in that back three again, I'm not going to be fucking happy. He's shit, boys. He is fucking shit. He's not a centre back. <sighs> He's not a centre back. He's a left back. He plays so much better as a left back, as that is his position. But all bloody hell. <laughs> but, um,. He's not as good, in, he's not very good in sandbag, back, I'm not going to lie. He's not very good, is he? So, I would say, back three, Mustafi, Kashoni, Holden. Left wing back, Kilisinac. Right wing back, Bellerin. Uh, maybe in the middle play, play Shaka. And then play someone else. I don't want to see, I don't want to see Ramsey playing again. He's alright, but I just want to see some fresh faces in the team. And thing, so I'm not sure who else goes centre mid, maybe, but maybe put a youngster in there. Um, I think Zalala, or we sold him, I can't, I can't really be sure. Like, you don't really hear much about him, but um, play a youngster in there, we should have some. And then I'd say Urzel, and I'm not too sure who could play alongside Urzel, maybe. Maybe play Welbeck. No, just play Urzel. Centre attacking mid and then play Welbeck and Giroud up front. I'd like to see that pairing. We haven't really seen it. But yeah, I'd love to see that pairing. But guys, I hope you do agree. I hope you also agree we win. Uh, I'm going for a 2-0 win. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, remember to like, comment your score predictions below and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.